a slower takeover towards that A site, but they make it go fast. Dizzy already in the back of sight. It's an immediate Sage Wall, too. They have full control and no kills whatsoever going back and forth. Now, there's so much Utel dumped down here from Sonics just to obscure the vision, but as soon as that Poison Up goes down, Shazam is presented a golden opportunity. Shazam already around the corner. He, uh, <laughs> he headshots the wrong person, but still getting some decent damage. It's Crunchy running right the mid side at just about 22 HP. He's trying to play out a little bit more time, potentially delay for Dizzy, but Dizzy still in the back of sight. Gonna be able to get one, traded back immediately. Ion coming up from behind over at mid, and there you go. Ion might have just iced this whole thing out. Shazam has to go so huge, but he gets a big one onto Ion first. Dash is right into the face of Bob, but Bob. Get the hell out of dodge. That's really all he can do, but still in these types of scenarios for Sonic, we're seeing more and more one-off type peaks, just like this one. It's gonna be Shazam taking down Ion just as around the corner. One of his teammates was baiting out pressure. Soms with another run right back at the exact same time. Here comes Crunchy, actually in the back of A site. Tagging on a big one onto Dapper. Bob is right next to him. And all of a sudden, this round is turned on its head. A revive 10 swinging in at the exact same time. And Sentinels, as the dust subsides, it's all gone against them. It's a 1v2 for Zoms. And, well, not much hope. That's if Sonics doesn't walk right into his cross there. Oh, Zoms. That could have been it, could Clock gave, a, gave a slight opportunity for Shazam to take that double up, updraft and find those two kills. And now Sentinels, they're reading into it perfect because they've already committed to the rotations. They've got a man advantage and Tens is already on the scene. It's more or less a commitment. Tens is left. still walking around. So trying to find a better, a better angle or really just any information period. One person in the middle of sight, it's Crunchy. Having to escape through the cloud first, but no way! Dapper! That was a, another one! Dapper is missing out on these shoulder peaks! Consistently in crunch, he's finally the kid. To help out Tens with the Owl Drone spotting Tens out, he's in a dangerous spot. Super dangerous spot, but it's so vo volatile. Could have easily gone a kill and just missed, but that's the thing, Sully. He was missing that first step, he was missing the kill. He goes down. Now Sonics have a route over towards that backside. It's gonna be Dizzy once again, trying to clear back elbow, but it's going to be Dapper before that wall goes up, getting the kill. Sick is gonna be able to get a kill onto Bob. That Viper, uh, that Viper's pick goes up at the exact same time. Sonics with a little bit of defense here, but their players are still going down on the perimeter. Ian in the very middle, has to play around, has has to be sneaky. Zoms, and on top of it, Sentinel slowly sneaking right into the cloud. Ion still has full control. Plays on that back line. Ion gets, oh, Ion gets revealed. Has to run away. Pulls at the sidearm. Can't get, can't get a kill at all. Instead of sick getting it, Plex destroy the wall at a perfect time. The Sentinel goes out and the shot Oh my hits. goodness. Oh my God, they're totally doing it. Oh my it. God, oh, yeah. all the way around. Sonics is and now they, they might encounter someone. Well, and they're planning towards spawn! Spike planted. Oh, this is such a good counteraction! They've got completely against it, but Sully, this is one of the worst spots for you to play it, period. Two players already rotating towards the back of spawn, and Sonics now, they have to face on a two on five at the exact same time. Clicks, getting a kill back onto Dapper, but he drops default. So delaying even more time, and still they're going into the back of sight again, Sully. Sonics are just bombarding at least every single corner and crevice that the site has to offer and they're going for the same back site plant. Okay, sure. Uh, this time it's a little bit crossed up too. Couple players over towards yellow box and two players from Sentinels are trapped in the very middle and Shazam takes down Ion as Ion was starting to get a little bit cheeky trying to go for a flank over in the mid side. But Sentinels, they're taking this close for a reason, Sully. This is so hard to navigate. At this point, it feels almost impossible, right? You've got two different angles to clear, and there's so many more possible. Yep, there's that crossfire. And while Shazam is able to get a couple of exits here, it's not going to be enough. It'll all be in vain. Seven to one, Sonics. Such a quick take, right? The the idea is instead of allowing to, are we are we just seeing a a, a little a little bit of secret sauce here from Sonics? Because I'm personally getting a little bit confused watching these plays. But hey. Let's get back into it. Oh my oh god! Oh my goodness! Just him! Coming out of nowhere and getting himself two! Alright! So now Sonics, this is quite the way for them to get up uh, up against the ropes. It's gonna be a couple of pushes. That Hunter's Fury coming out at the exact same time. Crunchy pushing back. This could have been a man advantage here, Sully. But Sentinels have thrown her away with that last kill. Toxins going up. Now it's up to Zombs here on the B side. Rotation's coming in quick, but he catches eye in. <laughs> Not all done just yet. Noise has been made. Zoms again with a three-second kill. 
Can Crunchy really pull this out? One versus three. He knows at least the location of two, but it's such a tricky uh, site to navigate because there's only one plant spot you can really go for, and there's only so many locations you could fall back to. And up against three, you've got to hit your shots here, my man. Yeah, he's got to hit the shots, and he's taking damage too. He does utilize that heal a little bit early, and he gets a kill right through the Viper Wall. Watch out around the corner as Tens, and Tens ices it out. So, uh, yeah, awkward score line. Yeah, should pretty much be. I do like that counter. Sage Wall, and what is going on there with Dapper? Puts himself in the middle of view. Looking at another angle, but he gets taken down from heaven. Sonics now, without even making a step into the A-side, Sully has two kills. Sentinels are now forced to put now they're going back. their last few bodies, and now they're going right into the crosshair of Tens! Tens, oh man. We were expecting Tens to do something there. He gets a singular kill. Here, the wall's gonna go up. Sage Wall should go down here as well. The spike plant essentially free, but Shazam putting so much pressure. Crunchy still wants to stick it. He goes down in a three versus three. Another from the backside of Sick, and now it's just down to two. And both of these players are stuck towards B main. How do they work their way out? There's double blast back and a show supper for Flix to create space. And other than that, it is no tricky. And Shazam again going dangerous. Finds another kill, and now Bob, nothing he, she can rip a wall. From there, the snowman push set up. Oh, Tens, he's gonna get punished because of that one. Thankfully, there's a trade back from Shazam as he goes hunting for a little bit extra. Unfortunately, it's not gonna work out. Does he expect him? No, he's oh, not even no. looking at that angle. Shazam, gonna get punished here so easily, and yes, he does. That's cracked open the A side. You know, both of the duelists are down, so retake potential just became so much harder for Sentinels Whoa. and going to this A site. Dizzy's Whoa. not even gonna look. Dapper's gonna get a free pick, and it's back to a three on three. Yeah, of course, you would never expect someone to already be an elbow in that position, so uh, is what it is. Dapper gets the kill, and Sick, no way! Sick awkward. doesn't get the second free one! Instead, Bob. Goes away, Scott free, and is able to heal up too. Plex is still here in the middle of the site, but Plex gets caught with his pants down. What is going on with all these Sonic players and all their pants are down? Sentinels now have three players remaining, trying to fight back the two-man yellow box swing. Oh my oh, goodness! From Crunchy! Crunchy going big and getting two! Stoppers to ensure that Dapper doesn't oh. try an early swing. He doesn't take the peek. He knows one's back towards yellow, but the other is unknown. Yeah, I, I I do like that idea. Potentially too wasteful just for you, you know, but let's see what happens. Dapper trying to go for at least one shock dart back over towards the yellow box. Knows that Plex is in the back. Knows that the other person is in main, so has at least isolated a couple of 1v1s here. Can make sure that at least none of these players swing. Plex staying safe. Crunchy showing face a little bit more. Plex playing ring around the rosy. Dapper oh. approaching up from behind. He gets Plex. Still one more remaining. Crunchy, run for the hills, my friend. Gotta play around this, and Dapper has no time whatsoever. It's a perfect clutch for Crunchy. He pulled. Stop free here, so. Yeah, and I am immediately backing away. You know this has to be a retake. On a pistol round like this, you need that Viper Wall to go down to try and commence the retake. Bob, struggling just a little bit for the kill, but she's still going to get it nonetheless. In a 5v4, Dapper's around this corner where he can swing off his teammates. Okay, Plix going a little bit deep, trying to take down Dapper. It was mainly Dapper going for a little bit more of a wide swing than usual. This orb is covering up to these players from Sentinels, and it just makes this post play a whole lot harder. Sonics. They combine their efforts, three man swing over into the back of yellow box, and that's gonna be yet another very, very important round, Sully. That is the pistol round going back to Sonics. It's a huge by some of these takes, but look at this over towards mid, it's crunchy. Closing up on space, and Dapper was there to cut him off, so alright, so the tell for a B take has been broken down, Sully, so instead it's just Zam arcing now that A site going right around it. Making sure that nobody can expect and still getting himself a second, making a third. No, Plix getting the kill, but only 45 HP left in the 1v4. No chance. Sully, what a, what a broken this entire B defense and I is like, what do I even do? Trying to retake a little bit of ground. You've lost completely towards alt mid. And Dapper is still towards V main, but Plix is good for at least the first on to tens. That'll at least break up a little bit of the defense, but you still have to worry about Shazam. He is in such a good angle to cut down the play from mid side. And Ian. He's got to get really good timing here as the wall starts to come down. It's not just Ian that needs to get good coverage. It's Crunchy. Crunchy, unbelievably so. Waltzing right into the back lane. And Dizzy now coming in at a perfect time. Going to be able to get one. Dapper now still with that shock dart going right up to the smoke. From long range. Going to be able to get one. Still. 
The Diffuse coming in from Dizzy still has a Hunter Theory! And the amount of delay from Dapper does it! Sentinels sneaks away around from Sonics! And this one is not looking all too good for him. Oh, and Ion's trying to use that little cap double swing as well. Reinforced by Bob, she's going to support Ion for that first kill. Heal can go in, and keep in mind, Gus, there is a showstopper in play. Plix can take up so much space and even maybe find a kill in this 4 versus 5. But yeah. the refight for Sentinels, it's going to be really big if Sick can play the buddy system with one of his teammates. To really make this worth it, they need to get some information. They need to know who oh, is where, oh. and oh my, again. Plix went into the showstopper, completely dry Sully, and he gets punished for it. Taken away from midair, and now it's only one person remaining for Sonics after Crunchy and Dizzy go down. It's Shazam with a 2k taking down Ion. Yeah, no, absolutely. A couple more bodies here, a little bit more util, and there you go! No way! Sully, you mentioned it. They were way more prepared. The ultimate could have definitely stopped things, but they're still fighting back. Still going to be two kills going back and forth. Sick going all the way back to try to get that revive. And man, oh man. Boost. Crunchy. Yeah, no, there you go. There goes that boost. And wow. I keep saying wow because I'm shook. Sully, yet another play where that sage roll goes up and uh, it's another fake. This is great from Sentinels, but okay. Sonic's still able to get out a couple. Crunchy reviving Ion at the exact same time. So Sentinels, with their risky mission, ends up losing out two players at the exact same time. And I don't even know if you can get the spike down here. Bob is going to cause a delay. Snake, snake fight goes in as well to at least give Zoms a little more room to work with. But this Viper wall, you don't know what waits on the other side. So it has to go down before you make that approach. And those seconds, value, seconds valuable left. seconds, give time for Sonics to make rotations. And well, they will get it down. They've got no post lane due to the back on. It's all up to the rim and Dapper. Not going to be enough. Zoms in the 1v3 has activated the Sniper's fit, but everyone is banging oh. him down. He's still going to be finally able to find Against what is Sully, debatably the best team in the world. That is expertly played from Sonics. The wall coming out from Crunchy to reroute players to the other side of Jenny. And there lies two to three players. Plix and Crunchy finding immaculate kills to win them this round. I mean, Plix off of that nade and the more pressure on the 10s. That spike, it was never going down if I'm being completely honest. There was just too much pressure created. And Sentinels found themselves in that impossible situation to win out. Sonics, util dump at its finest. There goes a big nade getting big damage. But Plix still looking over towards that back line. No spike has gone down just yet. Shazam sitting in the middle of the tube. There's three players over towards mid. That could be know. his next know. target. Shazam wants to go in, but Bob peeks in at a good time. The timing for Shazam doesn't work. Blitz going in. Two-man advantage now for Sonics. Sentinels, they are going no down way. bit by bit. One more player remaining, and it's Zonzo in a 1v4, and the showstopper stops it all. Hold the fake perfectly. They really have, and it's working out. Sully sick now from around the corner. Still has that boom button. They're gonna be able to use it. Dizzy trying to run away, and it's tens and zombs combining at the exact same time for two very quick kills on sight. Sonics, however, they still have Bob over towards that elbow side. Gonna be able to get a quick one, but still not a lot of HP back for Bob. Bob has to wait up for her teammates to actually make their way over. Watch out for Shazam, though. Shazam might have gotten spotted by Ion, and they still want to go for that 1v1, and Ion ends up winning. Both players now remaining over towards Long. It's a crossfire between Zoms and Tens. Tens going for that first peak. Not going to reveal where Zoms is whatsoever. This is actually a great spot for Zoms. Oh Zoms my goodness, takes that one. Tens. tens works out with a flash. Ion does get that kill back. 13 HP left on Zoms. Ion is low. Ion needs to go for the wide swing, and now needs to go for the defuse. He said he's about to get crunched. Oh, Dizzy nearly Ooh. caught up, and he is. Tens is able to punish. Gate crash not out just yet, but sick. A quick jump out. There's just too much focus on the Tens, and they're able to catch out Bob. She goes down and crunchy in the middle of Tin Can. Nothing he can really do there. And that's the Sentinels we know and love. A quick crunch into the site, and they're going to take out the round here unless Blix can do something. Yeah, let me remind you here, so yes, it is a little bit more uh, of a It has essentially dragged away all this pressure away from Hookah at the exact same time. Viper's Pig going up too. It's a plethora of util right in the middle of this B site, and it's an absolute mob. Sick is still in that back line. Bob and Dizzy have left. Sentinels now have full control. Bob's still going to be able to get another one, yet another Viper's Pitch just to try to make their way in. Sick Curly at 1 HP has to run away, and it's a Venn diagram of Util here on site. What on earth is going on? The spike's still finally going down. Ion right in the middle, going to be able to take down 10. Sick with another kill back. It's still a 2 on 3. It's still a 1v3. Sonics is uh, a Viper's Pit. Enough time at this point. Maybe with 20 seconds, he had an opportunity, but he's going to tap the spike. Oh my god, so many runs. Uh, 
coming out from the back of CT. Felt like like six or seven kills just off of the sheriff in the last and game. And there alert. it is. And there he gets another one. Of course, tens with a tight angle, threading the needle, getting the first headshot, getting the entry duel. More importantly, just like that, Sonics is left a little bit more into that, uh, in towards that back line. I and he's pinged, and he's finally gonna go down. That hunter's theory chases him down, and Sentinels without stepping one bit into that a site has gotten themselves three kills now. Shazam! Gaining down Dizzy, who was trying to run away. Wow. Sonics are just done for, Sully. This is uh, this is a send round. You gotta love the explosion from Sentinels. As soon as Tens finds that first frag, Shazam is quick to get the ult orb, get it online, and find a pick in the back site. And it's a great util combination, because Dapper tosses a snake bite into that back corner, kind of restricting the movement. Unfortunately. Yeah. But it's at least an opening to kick things off, and it's weakened at least to say attack where now you don't really have that entry. You still have six double blast back and showstopper, but on the A site, it is so difficult to clear these corners with it. Fire in oh, it's gonna start with a showstopper. Sick. Utilizing one of his satchels, gonna utilize a second to try to get a kill. It's Shazam getting the kill onto Flex. So, uh, yeah, that showstopper doesn't really matter, but instead, it is going to be two kills going back and forth for both teams. Sentinels. Still going to be able to survive with a 2v2, but that orbital strike coming in right as Sully says, of course. Uh, <laughs> 50 Watch seconds left. It's crunchy spike still with planted. a little bit of utility. That orbital strike did nothing as the spike goes into the green box. This is a tough crossfire, but they do have a flank here, Sully. It might even, I mean, the orbital strike reroutes the position to maybe even a better spot for Sentinels, knowing that the flank was coming through short, and Shazam, yeah. he's going for a flank of his own. So much heat taken right onto Dapper, and it's just to allow Shazam to swing. He knows he's forced one here. Apologies. She knows she's forced one, at least into showers. The second, it is such a difficult crossfire with Shazam no. up in heaven. Shock Dart not even going to connect. Bob, nothing she can do here except wait death. The Zapper playing with his food. Nothing really could be done. And 4 to 2 for Sentinels. A little bit of a shake. I am, though. Oh, we get a, we get a clutch out of that, of course, from earlier. I love, you love to see this. I and it was a great approach, great attempt. The Red Bull Clutch, simply going in the hands of Zoms though, it was a 1v2 for Zoms. Yeah. Viper Wall over towards Long, can certainly play out time, oh, but no, the Viper Wall knows. goes down, and it was Tens that got the kill, of course it was Tens, Tens knows the play, and Dizzy goes down in a heap, in such a good off angle, so instead now it's going to be Sentinels just bouncing right on in on site, and a little bit of Astra Util too, we haven't talked too much about the effect of the Astra pick just yet, but I'm sure we could do that a little bit later, Flicks going in, getting a kill off that nade, and that showstopper, at the exact same time, gonna be able to get a kill onto Dapper, and Bob gets one too, two V2, incredibly low HP on Plix, but Plix still gets the headshot onto Shazam. Zom's now a very possible 1v2 and makes it happen again. Zom's the clutch minister for players on this A site, and Tens is no, he knows that he's forced at least the Viper out of position, and Sick is again gonna take this space. Love the info play, but it's gonna have to come up to Sick. Sick has to get a kill here. What just happened? Did Plix just outplay Sick by satcheling on top of Green Box? 1,000 IQ. Well done. That's desperation at its finest. Two players down now for Sentinels. And this Viper's Pit is just such a roadblock. None of these players from Sen can make their way through. The... It's going to be sick on the front lines. There you go. Sick. Consistently getting some insane entry frags. And this time it's yet another one. Look at the combo. No way Dizzy can escape from that. Oh my, the snake bite alongside the satchels ends up getting a big kill. Sonic still with only two players remaining, still getting kills with only two players remaining. Let's see what Ion can try to pull off. He glides things under 2v2. Trade back from Sick, but no! Ion still gets the kill off of the swing! Out of nowhere, it's Shazam now in a 1v2. Gets tagged out, running right towards Bob. Bob gets a headshot right through the wall, and that is another run for Sonic. Nobody from Sonic's even playing contact over towards that area. Love that Molly gonna stop things for just a little bit. Bob right through the nebula gonna be able to get the kill as the tens. As tens thought uh, that he was a little bit sleeker than usual. This Viper's Pit, however, gonna be the opening oh, up for Mooka Crunchy in the back of Sen gonna be able to take down to them. And Zom, there you go! It's the Guardian going nuts! Crunchy! Oh! That double spray now has gone! Mind Games goes back to the B site. He's got no detail. All he's got to rely on is nothing but aim. And maybe that one poison orb, that helps. Covering up just a little bit of space. Dapper is gonna close in that space. Toxin. 
would have to go down and Dapper. Light oh, up. Dapper wants it. Light oh, up! Dapper! Playing peekaboo with Sonics! They need to get any sort of Hello. info here on short. It would be huge for Sick! Whoa! Plix jumping in off that satchel. Gonna be able to get a kill off the Sick. Still goes back. Zom's oh. getting two with that frenzy. Great spray down. Shazam coming up from behind, super, super quick. Tens is right in the middle of the back, too, but it's very isolated. He was playing around the smoke, and now Shazam can play Crossfire right towards the middle of sight. This is actually oh, such an inopportune sandwich that Sonics has themselves in, and Shazam just has to keep his angle, and everything can work out. Ten still towards that back line. Shazam still getting another one. Playing time. Bob has to go for the swing, and she goes down in a heap. It's Shazam with... No info, and usually off of these defaults, we see early util. At least over towards that A site, but again, this is just Sonic's trying to play the, the most basic of defaults, and potenti mm. uh, potentially the most basic of fakes. Yeah. A little bit of a burst later on. It looks like that with the retake, I think this is kind of planned from Sentinels, right? They understand that they gave up showers in well no. sick. He knows showers is given up, and he wants them to walk into A. He'll find the first stick, but there's still more to come. Yeah, sick gonna be able to take down Dizzy Dizzy wide swinging in an awkward angle, but even more awkward was Tense trying to go for a flash over towards short, but Ayn comes in at a pretty good angle. Dapper actually gets a kill off that snake bite right in the middle of sight. That's a little bit awkward. Sentinels now only have one person remaining, and what a person to leave it off to. It's Shazam now in a 1v2, but goes down to Ayn and yet another awkward off angle. They are not convinced at all. I think the Viper Roll has gone up on the A side and it's pulled rotations. One at least has gone back Can't nearly a second. Tens has got a gate crash ready in the back of Defender Spawn just in case. But now comes Sonics ready to barrel their way into the site. And it's a weakened defense set up here by Sentinels. Flex with second thinking it, just trying to get a little bit better of an angle. Finally in the middle of sight, but it's going to be the Hunter's Fury taking him down. Som's helping out too. What a combo in the middle of sight, but Sentinels only able to get two out of that interaction. Dapper with a big TP. Finally goes for the wide swing and takes down Ion. All right. Tough to say the least, and it's 10 seconds left with a great crossfire from Sentinels, and they can surely put it off. Dapper back towards the shower side and... Recon Bolt goes in, Tens playing cheeky and cheeky indeed. Gate crash out of there, it's unpunishable in that position. And now they know where the final players are. Tens up huge with a 3k and a 4 from Dapper. And there's not much crunch you can do here. Maybe get a couple of Whoa! kills. Hold on, they line up. There's one on the flank and I don't know if he notices though, Gus. Yeah, it's gonna be so hard. No way, the orbital strike in Fathom, but he's gonna go down anyways. It's very valuable to get those three kills at the very end, off, especially if you're in an right. eco position. But, I mean, Sentinels with such a, an immaculate lead, seven rounds you have to play against. It'll be super difficult for Sonics to even break the economy of Sentinels. Could do so much damage <gasps> if you were to toss it now. Uh, he needs a little bit of information too for he this got to work. He's got there it. goes the nade! He's got there it. goes the spray! Oh, the nade's gonna do a lot of good chip damage solely, but Sick needed a couple of bullets to really make that work. Let's see if Shazam can capitalize though. Takes one down in terms of crunchy. Zom's going in. Oh my, that's in the mental. It'll drift happening at the exact same time. Zom's going in for the right click. It is an absolute massacre in the middle of in the middle of the B site. And it's Sonics that is left to pick up the pieces. It is Bob left to pick up the pieces in a 1v2. Zom's in the middle of the back of sight. Tens still sitting in long and still has control of the spike. Such a tough position for Bob. Yeah, she has got it all to do. 47 HP to I'll prevent a third map out of this round. Now they know the recon bolt going in, but what does she do here? No more utility. Recon bolt's not even going to come into effect, and the vulnerability is going to come into effect now for Bob. She's got nowhere to run. Left. They're not even peeking. They've got the they're spike, but they're on low HP too, and that's why they're not peeking. Bob, looking to take the early fight, has got the first. Tens on the swing, 20 seconds left, and eight bullets! But Tens already watching. That's going to be Shazam and Sick and Zom's all ready for a quick rotation. There's that instant reaction, and there's Tens getting a first kill. He can even dash and smoke, and it's a free dash, but he wants to maybe come over commit maybe a little bit too much in that situation. Yeah, potentially so. There were a couple of players there ready for that trade, and uh, in the end, yeah, it is overstretching balance. Boundaries a little bit. Look at Shazam though, covering up that entry with those shock darts, and it does a whole lot of damage, chunking down a couple of players from Sonic's down to half health. And this just makes Sonic's Sick! job a whole lot easier. No, six job a whole lot easier. He ends up getting three for his favor, and now it's just down to Ion in a 1v2. Still has the ghost, and still has Sick, who is here. This time he's got an operator. We know tens. He is deadly on it.
Yeah, no, there you go. He's gonna be able to get one free one, utilizing that dash right after two. He's still looking for a second, still has that ping against the wall. And he actually did get a hit on the bomb right through. Some more damage being done, and Shazam around the corner, helping out Tens from that long range, helping out from that close range. Shazam getting a big one off that Spectre, upgrading to a Phantom, and now Sonics are left up against the ropes over in long. Yep, there's that aggressive peak again. It works out so well, Sentinels. Taking the fight very early on at a round like this. When you have the lesser guns, Clarai to close the gap. Create your own advantage in Shazam. Is already going to find three kills. And oh, not going to be able to get the fourth, unfortunately. Bob, she's in a pretty awkward position. Not really many places she could run to. But she could get a couple of kills. Never mind. Tens is already holding with the operator. Sending Sonics back to another. Maybe it's just a Shazam diff, who knows. No, yeah, no, we'll see a replay later, most likely. But here we go. Tens with a big opportunity for potentially a collab, but he's only able to get one right onto Bob, but gets a whole lot of information, spotting out at least three different heads. Sonics now, mostly over towards short. There's a couple players in long as they split off in two and two. Crunchy and I and trying to get as close as possible. Do like that hot hands Love that. in terms of just a time-wasting angle, but ten. Has to be here, ready for that approach. Ion ends up going down. Dizzy gets sick after she gets down. Ten down with a shorty alongside the off. He's gonna be able to get three for now. The shorty goes out, and unfortunately his prey run pressure. But the running back should be a little bit better too. And we go. Ten misses on the right click, but sick is still able to get that kill. Crunching with a big one onto Zombs, and now he just has to crossfire over towards the back line. An orbital strike coming out at the exact same time, and it's a wide radius. He ends up getting a kill on. To Dapper, these last two players from Sentinels still stuck over towards that back line. Plex has to finish off this last one because it's this Omen. It's gonna be at least one more layer of defense here on the B side, and this is just all too cheeky for Zom. Zom's no, going with a little bit of tracking, but Dizzy breaks Zom's his ankles. Ends up bending back and ends up getting the kill. Sick. Go. Oh, he wanted it all. He wanted to jump on top of the wall and potentially get a kill on the player was that was running down towards the bottom of mid. Now it's just going to be a long range battle. There goes that orb in the middle of sight. Just making more damage. Dapper trying to go for a defuse. Tens can certainly help out on top of this orb, but it's still so many players to deal with. Starts it off strong with a kill onto Crunchy. Sick in the middle of the smoke. Ayan. Trying to find somebody, but Ayn is just in the middle of there. No, Ayn is actually outside. Sick is still in the middle of sight, but can't find anything. Finally, he's going to be Ayn popping out, getting the kill onto Tens, and a massive flash is going to leave his camera's flash. And he gets flashed again, and Plex goes for the wide swing. Plex, Sully acting like a duelist a little bit, and it's working out as now Sonics not only have post control a little bit, but also the man advantage, but the man advantage is gone. Ooh, tens. Yeah. Tens. Huge kill on that flank, and now that he's created a pressure into the back lines, that's going to force a little bit of control from Crunchy. He's like, okay, I got to worry about the flank, and Tens, he's faked a rotation back into Garage, and Crunchy playing for the post-plant Molotov. It's Crunchy, able to take down Tens. Queen Bob <gasps> sitting in the light first hit, but it's not going to be enough. She goes down, and these last two players, the Molly's already out. There's a golden chance for this defuse. The radius, it's too far big. Shazam can just take the defuse. There's nothing they can do. Shazam's going to win the round. Sentinels win a fifth by the skin of their teeth. And what is Tens doing? Running up long, getting free. Down a. One enemy remaining. <laughs> the train does not enemy. stop, man. Tens keeps on going, but Dizzy's breathed life back into Sonics. Still, though, there's a flank coming in as well, and I don't even know if he realizes. He has to assume that it's coming in, but a one versus five. Dizzy, too far off for a revive. It all comes down to just him. Wall available. Double slower, but a heal, but a crossfire being held. As soon as the contact's made, Dapper's going to be at the ready. Maybe for that swing, Dizzy checking the corner. Oh, my goodness, Dizzy. Whoa. Two more kills to find, and he's got an idea that this is one on the flank. If Sick goes down, this is unspeakable. Uh, yeah, no, this is this is really, really good from Sick, though. Sitting off in this off angle, that's a hard clear from Dizzy that he has yeah. to go with. A lot of pressure. There's even a crunch coming in from Tens as Sick pulls away all of that heat, but can Tens really capitalize off of it? Yes, he can! Yes, he can! Tens with a third. So clean off of this blade storm, oh, and he's even going to find the fourth. Ace incoming possibly, but not enough knives. That is what you love to see. The train no does way. not die. No, not just yet. He's still going to try to put pressure. There's a chance for a swing. He's going to get dazed, and he's going to go down. And Tens can just hold this angle, too. He's going to be able to take down Crunchy. There's another person around the corner. Yes, 
does not expect Ian. Watch out for Shazam trying to go for the wide swing. Bob in a good angle, but Bob somehow needs to make it out alive. That stage wall around the corner can keep it good, but Sick has the opening, and there you go. Bob goes down on a heap. Flicks up close and personal, going out for that flash. Still has a couple more opportunities in the middle oh, of Cypher. Sick. There goes that curveball. Blix looks Blitz. away from it. Well done from... This crossfire could certainly work, but oh. Zom still needs to be here. Dapper on his load. Oh, Dapper. Oh, airing out his Phantom and Sonics. They all walk into his crosshair, and it's Dapper to cap off. Oh, Chris to close out the half. He's got to kick it off here in the second alongside Tens as they walk up long. Ah, Ian able to take down two, and well, well, swoop. Getting both Dapper and Tens lined up. It's going to be Zom's picking up another kill on two clicks in towards the back of sight. And Zom's essentially dry going in for this Paranoia. Going to be able to tag two. A little bit slow. Paranoia set up here for Zom's, and that's going to be entry. Tens is going to dash in. He takes a little bit of hit from the pair or apologies from the snake bite. Whoa. But there is just too much action going on. And somehow, someway, Sentinels clear it out like it's nobody's business. Too much action going on. That is the name of the game when you got yourself a flash and dash. Out goes the Paranoia. Out goes the dash from Tens. And they're able to sweep up the C-Site with a barrage of pixels on that C-Site. With a barrage of individuals. The Sentinels. They were able to overwhelm Sonics in the back line. And it's a full five-man split on A. Early hot hands right in the middle of long. So that's going to split up the approach. But Sick is still able to get a kill on two. At least one player in the back of that line. Crunchy now. The last person remaining essentially over. And short. And Crunchy is able to get two. Shazam still taking back the kill against Plix. But Crunchy is still living in short. Trying to delay time for this rotation. And he's still getting kills. Crunchy holding down the line. Zombs was looking the other way. Crunchy could have had four. Still another 2v2 post plant, Sully. Yeah. This is tricky to play against because there's a flank coming in from Ian and Bob. She's up top. The Viper Wall is going to disrupt the vision from both these players. The focus automatically becomes back towards defender spawn. And Ian, a chance to find Shazam. But a great Rika bolt doesn't reveal his position. And Shazam checking regardless. The ping goes out and now they know. Shazam dancing around. Zom's good for the first back towards long. And jumping out of heaven. Finding a resting spot. Bob goes. They didn't really have to expend too much. Two smokes, recon bolt, and a cage. Tens. Use that paranoia. Oh, a little bit awkward, but he still what? gets one. No way. Tens just switched off of his gun right as the smoke dissipates, and he's still able to get the kill. Oh. Oh, oh, that one gets me going. Still, it's going to be Shazam getting another kill against Crunchy. And Dapper finally getting two against Bob and I am. Sonic's at 15. And it's Sonics that currently has to rack on the kills, currently has to rack on the round. Sully, it is map, match, and qual- But a gap into Garage. Information that there's at least two players here, but what can he find? He slipped right through the lines. Ian has got no information that he's already slipped through. It's no just up to way. the guessing game. And Sick is going to be good for the first. Sick is going to be able to get one, but Plex was jumping oh. out of way. And there you go. Sick on his lonesome has cleared out the entire C site. It could potentially go for more. That lockdown oh, going oh. in. And Sick, Sick is still going. Sick. Closing out this game for Sentinels thus far, but can they really close the book? Can they really close this chapter against the Australian?